Hello, I'm Colin McGurran. I'm the Chef Patron of Wintringham Fields. Uh, welcome. Uh, an introduction to Wintringham Fields, I, I believe we're a unique restaurant because we grow everything ourselves, every shallot, uh, our livestock from our sheep to our suckling pigs. We only have a 10 course menu here, it's only one menu and the guests, the beauty about it, the guests don't realise what's coming so they sit down and they're fed and they're fed about what's in the fields as we speak. So we're forcing ourselves to be seasonal, we're forcing ourselves to use what we grow and so therefore as a cook we're learning a lot about produce, um, how to grow and of course how best to cook it at the right time of year. If we don't have anything, citrus fruit, example seafood, uh, we choose to use a supplier who shares our same philosophy. Hence the lobster I'm doing today is a locally caught lobster and we're going to pair it with our homegrown vegetables. So what I like to do first is to uh, roast this with a bit of butter, thyme and garlic to get a lot of colour before it goes in the sous vide bath to ensure we get all the lobster, all the roasted flavour in there as much as we can. So the reason why we're not finishing them on the pan, that we are finishing them in the sous vide, is we're going to make it a real gentle cook. Uh, we're going to ensure that the whole tail is consistent, we've got no charred overcooked pieces and the centre is a little bit undercooked. We're going to make sure the whole body, the whole flesh is cooked evenly and consistently. Uh, and that's the beauty about slow cooking in the sous vide machine. <laughs> Okay, with our lobster, we are going to pair it with something called a laksa. It's like a Malaysian style Thai sauce. Okay, to make the laksa sauce, we're just going to colour our fennel, garlic and onions. Add the ginger. So we're going to cook these down, stew them down, and we're going to make a paste. Within the flavour, we are going to roast some macadamia nuts. You can see them starting to smoke. Okay, so we add the macadamia nuts into the, the mix. Curry and coriander, tomato, lemongrass and chilli. The flavour of all of this, all the lemongrass, all the thyme, all the, all the different spices work so well with fish, especially lobster. Lobster is quite a rich, flavoursome meat, quite robust and it can take quite a lot of spice and that's exactly why uh, I'm, I'm pairing the two together and that's why we've got the, the beetroot and kohlrabi, it's a little pickle, it's a lovely little sweetness to go with it. Um, so all we have to do now is add the cocoa uh, milk and uh, the, the lobster stock and we're going to let that simmer over a stove for about 10 minutes. So I've just chopped up some fresh coriander, again very fragrant, good handful into my sauce and of course my final job to do is just to put it through another blender just to really squeeze all the flavours out and now it's a lovely silky beautiful sauce. Finally we're just going to reduce the sauce down, season it and it's ready to go with our lobster. So now this lobster smells unreal but more importantly it feels cooked all the way through. It's all one uniform cooked piece of flesh and I think that's going to be a fantastic eat. And then homegrown beetroots. There's no real rules about, about plating up. Just what looks nice but more importantly it's about people's expectation when they put it in their mouth. And the kohlrabi. And then I've got here, just to finalise, lemon gel, lemon and orange. We take the zest from the orange, we boil it with some lemon juice and we add a bit of sugar to it and the flavour is unreal. So there we have it, my roasted sous vide lobster with homegrown uh, vegetables of beetroot and kohlrabi with a laxa sauce.